Hello everybody, welcome back to the JRB Apiary. I'm gonna go up and clean up Hive 1 a little bit more today. I think the frame that just has a little bit of stored honey but is mostly just comb and mulch I'm going to remove and also check and see how the queen rearing process is going and make a decision if I'm going to keep with that versus getting a new queen. I'm leaning towards keeping uh, the genetics that are in the hive and trying to let them raise up their own queen. We'll see how it goes, there's a risk either way. I think that's the one I wanna take, but let's see what it looks like today first. Yeah, they're really trying to fix this frame, but I just think that's a lot of extra work. I don't know if that's worth doing, so I am gonna take this frame out. They are drawing some new comb here. I'm trying to get it done still. This is one of the, this is the slash frame. You can see they're kind of tearing apart. It looks like the lower parts of this. Got some angry bees here. I think they'll take care of that on their own. They're still cleaning up the bottom of this. This is one of the two salvage, like big salvage frames that weren't removed by the bear right here. See the queen cell is developing there well. It is capped. And that brood is not desiccated or been taken apart, so that brood might be okay. These bottom queen cells are also capped. So I'm hoping that with them being capped, that they're viable. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. A lot of nectar being stored in there still. They haven't gone through their sugar water, but I think they have pressing matters. So we have four queen cells that are capped. That's a good sign. Okay, this next frame is the brood frame that I removed from the other hive. Very active. I don't see any queen cells developing on it at this point. Just uh, put the broods there. A lot of brood on it, so that should give them a little bit of a jump start here. Is the plan is to help to carry them through until they start with a new queen, which hopefully will work out. One more frame to check. This is another survivor frame. Which looks wonderful, actually. It's uh, got broods still that are gonna be hatching. Which is very fortunate that this frame made it. They are capping lots of honey. So it looks like, yeah, we have three queen cells, maybe four queen cells total. So yeah, let's, uh, let's give this hive a chance. Let's give this hive and the original queen's genetics a chance. Let's, let's roll the dice. So now it's time to clean up a little bit more. The frame that I thought wasn't salvageable that had all the mulch on it was actually quite salvageable in the end. 
I took a look at it and there was another frame that was plastered to that frame that just needed to be separated off of it and that provided a great opportunity for us to save that frame. The next step was to brush out all of that mulch that was at the bottom of the hive, which the girls were actually doing a pretty good job of getting rid of already. So they've been chewing up that mulch, making it into a powder to get rid of it, which is good because I was worried about the wood sitting in there and turning into mushrooms. I brushed a lot of it over to the far end of the hive and then opened up the entrance on that end because I wanted to push out as much of that mulch and other junk out of there and it really worked out pretty well. This is a cooperative effort between uh, the bees and myself in order to try to clean up this house. And of course at the end of your trip don't forget to check your voltage. So things seem to be going decent. I think I'm going to give the queen a chance. I'm gonna give them a chance to raise up a new queen. Uh, we have four cat queen cells in there. So I think there's a good chance that they will be successful in raising one up. Uh, hatch time probably will be another 10 days. So we'll have to check back in later on and see if anything emerges and then we'll really know. And then it'll just be a matter of getting back to laying. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting and uh, you can see them back there. Hopefully they'll do all right. And seems to be okay. I'm probably going to beef it up a little bit more at some point. Uh, call it a healthy amount of paranoia. Until next time, JRB Apiary out.